what an amazing start to this thing. Welcome to the Cassette Bee Showcase, where we will be talking about the past, present, and future of Cassette Bees. I am Sana, and I am here with Jay and Tom from Bitten Studios. Welcome to Stockholm and the House of Fury, guys. Hey, thanks. Hey. Great to be here, yeah. I'm so happy that you're here. Can you introduce yourselves? Sure. Um, I'm Jay, I'm the artist and writer on Cassette Beasts. And I'm Tom, game designer, programmer, and punsmith. So we just saw the trailer for the 1.2 update. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Sure. So for 1.2, you know, we've got new monsters to record. Some of those are remasters of existing monsters you might already be familiar with, but some of those are also brand new. We also have a new hidden location and new moves as well. Oh, that's really cool. So when can we expect this update to hit? Um, so we're looking to get this out on PC and consoles on... Oh, wow, that's really soon. Good thing we're pre-recorded. <laughs> so you guys are kind of a two-man band at Bitten Studios. For me as a non-game developer, it looks like a very complex game. How do you guys handle dividing up the work? So whilst it's fair to say that, you know, Bitten Studio is like a two-man operation, I wouldn't say that Cassette Beasts is like a two-man project. Um, you know, we make a lot of design decisions together. Um, we do a lot of creative, you know, brainstorming. But also when it comes to like, the art side of things, you know, I'm the lead artist, but also we work, you know, remotely with um, artists and illustrators and animators. And of course, our composer, Joel. And of course, we work with the lovely Raw Fury who handle our marketing and publishing. Now, of course, there might be people at home who haven't played Cassette Beast. So can you tell us a little bit about the game? Sure. Um, you know, Cassette Beast is a monster collecting RPG. Um, set in the mysterious island of New Wirral, you know, you create your player character and venture out into this world where people record monsters onto cassette tapes and then play them back to transform into them, which is pretty weird, but you know, it works out. This is the first major update for the game. It's been out for a couple of months now, but the journey started much earlier for you, didn't it? Yeah, so, you know, we started this way back in late 2019. And um, way back then, we couldn't have imagined, you know, the kind of outpouring of love and the reception that we've had since. You know, every comment, every YouTube video, um, all the nice things people say on our Discord, you know, it really adds up and it's really been overwhelming to see. Yeah, it's it's been amazing for me as an outsider to watch as well. You have received so much amazing fan art. Oh, that's my favorite. It's been really incredible. You know, we create this world and then that kind of inspires more people to kind of create their own art of their own. You know, it's really, really cool to see. Yeah, it's really nice when the community gets really, really engaged and you get a lot of feedback as well, don't you? Yes, we've been reading all the feedback and we're incorporating it into our plans. So as a player myself, I really love all of the different monster fusions and the monster names, actually. How are you able to come up with the names? Well, our kind of creative process for developing monsters is like, you know, I'll sketch out some ideas for monster designs, I'll share them with Tom, and then we'll kind of have like a brainstorming session to come up with the stupidest name possible. <laughs> The exception is Gin and Tonic, where we had the name first. Yeah, once we had the name Gin and Tonic, I had to come up with something for it because it was too good not to use. It is an absolutely brilliant name. So there's eight monsters coming in this update, but I'm curious about the future. Are there any other monsters coming? Well, I can't talk about future monsters, but we have got some kind of really cool, exciting things in the works for sure. Oh, I think we have something to watch on that topic. Well... Yeah! Wow, multiplayer guys, multiplayer in development. And I'm so excited. Uh, I, I can't be the only one excited for that, right? So tell me more about multiplayer. Yeah, and this is a feature that's been hugely requested from the community. So we're really excited to get to start working on it. Um, so as you saw in the trailer that we definitely just watched, um, you can partner up with like a party of friends, um, up to eight people. And you know, you can see each other exploring the world. Um, you can meet up and you can trade monster tapes. 
you can battle each other and you can also team up for rogue fusion uh, battles where you know you fight rogue fusions together and get the rewards together as well. Yeah, I really can't wait to play the game with my friends. I know you can't say exactly when it will arrive, but do you have any like ballpark you can... I mean, you know, working on something like multiplayer is a huge technical endeavor, so we can't really give dates right now. Um, we're just super excited to announce to the community that this is in development. And as always, it's a case of stay tuned and we'll be able to update people when we have the information. So I will definitely be joining the Discord to make sure I stay up to date on all things Cassette Beast. But it sounds like it might take a while before it arrives. What can I do to satiate my need for Cassette Beast in my life? Well... Oh my god! We've been working with our partners, uh, our friends over at Symbiote Studios. Um, to produce a line of cassette beast plushes. Um, the first one that we're happy to announce is Pom Bomb. Um, this is a prototype, so the final one might look a little bit different. So I can't bring this home with me? Today? I'm afraid not. Aww. Um, and there's more to announce, but uh, yeah, they'll be available for pre-order soon. Okay, I am so getting one of these. Uh, I hope there will be other plushies as well. I'm a band sheep player myself, so I'm really hoping for that. But oh my God, this is wonderful. But there, there's more stuff, isn't there? There is. So one thing that's been hugely requested by the fans is a physical release of the soundtrack on vinyl. And we partnered with Black Screen Records to bring the music of Joel Bayliss. You know, it's a huge part of the experience of Cassette Beasts to a physical release. This is a two disc release and we've got illustrator Sammy Briggs uh, doing the cover art. And we think it's a really awesome release and we're really excited for this. Um, this is gonna be available to pre-order soon. Wow, this has been amazing, you guys. There's so much cool stuff happening for Cassette Beasts and thank you so much for coming here. Wait, there is one more thing. draws near. Come one, come all, to Brightside Pier. And that's everything for today's showcase. And thank you everyone at home for tuning in. And especially thank you for being here and for having made cassette piece. Thanks so much for having us. And genuinely though, thanks so much to all the fans from all around the world. You know, your love and support over the years has really been incredible. And we really it's truly been humbling. We wouldn't be here without you. Um, we really can't wait for like what the future holds for cassette piece. And we're excited that you're along for the ride with us. Yeah. and. Uh... If you're like me, very much looking forward to everything that is coming up for Cassette Beast, you should make sure to follow us on social media and join the Discord server. That way you'll always stay up to date on all things Cassette Beast. And that's all for us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
It's fun.